Hello everyone, today we will be making Pong. First we go to background and click paint. Let's say color to, let's say brightness to zero. So then we, then again we click sprite and click paint, and then we make the sprite like this. Now we duplicate this sprite and then click paint again to make the ball. Set saturation to zero. Now let's make a start menu. Now I'm choosing pixel. I'm choosing pixel. Now let's make the star button sprite. Now let's hide this. Now click hide sprite. Click hide. And after you make the start menu, you have to hide all of these except for the start menu sprite. And then for the stage, when where this is clicked, then we switch backdrop to drag job three. Now let's see how it works. Okay. Now let's make the start menu here. Okay. 
okay now when this sprite is clicked then we have to to broadcast start game and then hide and now when this stage you see start game then we switch backdrop to backdrop to now for player one when we receive start game forever if then if make for this that key up arrow press key down arrow press key left arrow press and then key right arrow press and then change x y 10 change x by minus 10 then change i by 10 change i by minus 10 And now exact same when I receive start game forever we make for ifs then key instead of key up down left right then we do W A S D. Actually, I forgot something. If key W and S press, then then for first change I by ten and change I by minus ten. And then we make it show. Now let's see how that works. So they're moving. Now let's make the X here. Now let's make the extra action here. And now change it. Or oh, never mind. Okay. Now for the ball, when this is, when I receive start game, 
Squeak Show. That forever. Wolf Skate Steps. And now make it go to X0 and then Y0. Then if edge, if or edge bouts. Now we need to make the cover for what the ball will do when we touch the paddles. Okay. One second. Then we click if touching pad paddle one, then Go to See, uh, the ball is moving. And now the how the players score. So now we have to make a score for the players. But let's duplicate this. And now we need to touch paddle two. And now we need to make it minus one to minus ten. Now let's see how that works. So far, so good. Okay. Now it's time to make a score. Make a variable score. Player one, then another score, player two, and now we must make the large readout. So we put player one here and put player two here. Okay, so now how do this score will make a goal? So, paid. Outer light, make red. Now we make it So this is the player one goal. And this is player two goal.
Okay. So now we go back to ball sprite. So if touching color is touching this sprite, then we will change score player one by one. And now we'll set score player one to zero. And then set score player two to zero. If touching So let's see how this goes. Okay, there's a mistake. This side of that, we touch, we do this. And I will make this blue. Now let's see. Now let's see how this goes. So this is a good board game. So this is our wake pong. A good pong game. And that's it.